is a throwing knife. Look what I just found. Check that out. Now that's nice. Now let's pull out this big ammo crate. Whoa, what is that? Look at that. We are back at this $430 abandoned storage unit. Last time we were here, we found like 10 to 15 guns. That link's in the description, so I'm so excited to get back into it. Let's do it. Let's continue working down this side of the unit. So, I don't think I showed this last time, but a nice little flat screen. I'd call it more of a computer monitor than a TV because that'd be a pretty tiny TV. This, ooh, a bell. Ooh, look on the back, is that a sticker or is that printed on there? It looks like it's stuck on there. Yeah. Kindred Spirits, but a motorcycle helmet. I get so many mixed reviews about these. Sometimes people are like, you can't sell them because it's past date. But every time I find them, I list them, they sell instantly. So I don't know how to feel about them. Look at all these military bags back here. Camo, camo, camo. We'll get to those soon, but there's one down here first. And I can't tell, it feels like there's something in there. Something, let's see. Some of these book bags are just awkwardly heavy. So it might not be. Let's check the zipper. A hat. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Oh no, there's something right here. Something heavy right there. Let's see what that is. It's well, ibuprofen. <laughs> a knife, like a box cutter knife. Ooh, this might be a nicer knife. Oh, it's a nice multi-tool made by Husky. <laughs> it won't open though. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> a nice Husky multi-tool. Put that right there. That's all it's in that section, but let's look in the main part. The back is supposed to be hard, I guess, but let's see, is there anything inside? I don't see anything else, just the two knives. Let's bring some of these bags and was one box over here and see what we got. That's nice, by the way. That's super nice. Let's see what's in the box first, because it says fuel filler neck, but we don't know if that's true. Eh. As far as I know, it's true, because <laughs> I know nothing about cars well i don't think all these papers are quite part of that fuel filler thing but i always gotta look through them a little bit just to make sure you don't see nothing please fix please fix what yeah it just looks like paper in there whenever that thing is this box or bag sorry not seeing nothing in the main compartment it's weird but it's got a little weight to it oh something's right here i feel that in this no this little tiny pocket what is it uh, a little dog, ooh, and a dog collar. I wonder if this is meant to represent like someone's dog mm -hmm. who passed away. Yeah, yeah, probably, cause there's a wing. Yeah, there's a wing to it. So we'll put that with the personal pictures and give it back to them. Now, let's see what's in this nice bag, by the way. Look at that. Yeah, let's is. see you what's put, in here. Like, shotgun shell in here. That's what it looks like to me. But what is this guy? What is it? Oh, look, it's a. United States Marine bag, I'm assuming. I see US. That's it though. It just says US. Nice. All right, that. You tag on it. What, where? Right oh, it's new, huh? What do they pay for this? Doesn't say, but it's there. And what else is in here? A little tiny, look like a satchel or satchel bag. Nothing in it, but just to be sure. Paper, money is light. Let's see. No, it's completely empty. Um, let's see, anything else in this guy though? It's got like this really hard back. You see this? Yep. Does that come out? Let's it see. It probably does. Just make sure there's nothing behind it, you know? No, that's nothing else in there, but again, that right there is super nice. Let's pull out these other two military style bags. This one feels soft, like it's probably got clothes in it or something, so let's just check that first. Where is it even open at? Here's that. And it's got, there's metal. Not sure what that is. Just a piece of metal. And it's got a blanket in it. Let's feel around. That's all that's in there is a blanket. Weird. This one. That's just like something in the water bottle or something under the water bottle. Let's see what that is. Yeah. Powerade. What are these all? Shells? Oh yeah, they are. They're seashells. Alright. Let's look in the front. Doesn't feel like nothing's in there, but just to be sure, we'll open a few pockets. Yeah, that's empty. Let's open the main compartment, wherever that's at. All right, it'll unbuckle for me. Open. Okay. 
it's empty completely empty weird another military bag but hey the bags are not ooh, something right here that might be more seashells but the insides keep being empty what are those legos what are these electrical pieces yeah i couldn't tell you at all that's weird so it looks like we got some cookbooks look at this a recipe and these are southern living cookbooks from 1982 83 80 85 i know oh. math what that book. Did you use this one in high yes, school? Yes, this is the one that I used in high school. Ugh. Oh, gosh. You know, I love looking at it. U.S. history, but I hated world history. I don't know why. But there's a math book too. So I don't know. A lot of people tell me old cook, older cooking books are worth money. These are 80s. They're not too too old, but maybe somebody knows. Just let me know down in the comments. Black tote in this other black bag. This one's obviously not military looking. I think these people are real outdoors people so campers fishers hunters all that let's see what's in here another bag. a backpack and a backpack it's a water backpack it looks like it and a sleeping bag there's something else down here too though a headlight listen there's something in this one for sure what it is i don't know let's see really quick oh, a pan a license plate, a license plate. <laughs> Um, what is that? That's for eating outdoors, <laughs> for camping, and the rest of it's water bottles. Ooh, look, an 8 gig SD card, and a flashlight, and a bunch of water bottles in there, and whatever that is. Rope. So, not much in here. Let's put this back in here, and then let's see what's in this tote really quick, because it's a husky tote, so I'm guessing tools, but it's really... <sighs> it's okay. It's really light, so I don't think it's anything heavy. Tools. Um, let's see. Shirt, slides, water thing. Hey, look. A little NASCAR lighter. Some ratchet straps. Monopoly. What is that guy? Flashlight? Oh, it blinks. I'm not sure what it's for. Papers. Yeah, it might just be dying. Stretch wrap. Ooh, oh, D&D. &D. D &D starter kit. Man, this guy keeps getting cooler and cooler to me. I didn't pl personally play D&D, &D, but I love the nerdy stuff. Look at that. D&D &D stuff can be very collectible depending on the age. What year is this guy? 2014, so it's newer. Last thing in here is this. Is this just the speaker? Yeah, I think that's just the speaker. Got this big old cardboard box here. Before I rip into it, make sure you leave this video a like, give it a thumbs up, and of course subscribe if you're new because we buy units all the time. And a lot of times they're awesome. Sometimes they suck, but you know, that's the way the business works. We try to get the best looking ones. Let's see what's in the tackle box. Is it actual, there's some sinkers. Uh, which way does it extend, this way? Not much. Yeah, a couple sinkers, a little cut thing, cut the wire or line not much in there look at this it's like a dirt bike helmet first look at that 40 removable posters for the walking dead oh that's pretty cool this reminds me of like a dirt bike person to me yeah. but i don't know what the difference is between like a bike helmet and a dirt bike helmet and what's in here this looks like those card folders first what's that i thought that was a scoped flashlight but it looked it goes under your gun, you see that? Oh, it's yeah. got the thing to help onto it. Two bandanas. What are in these folders here? Paperwork. And more paperwork. So let's see what these are. I'm telling you, I have a feeling there's going to be Pokemon cards. That's what I've been looking for. Nah, actual school stuff. Dang it. Make sure we don't see nothing else over here. No. This is all paperwork and actual school work, unfortunately. I got this box, but first I accidentally knocked those over. Those two coolers are both completely empty, but in good shape. They're both Coleman's, so a little bit of cash there. Let's see what's in this big bold box here. Is that sunscreen or something? Mm -hmm. Let's see what's in the bag though. So it's, I'm gonna guess pool stuff, if that's the case. But we'll check anyway. Wait, what the heck? That's just to make it bigger. Is that all that's in there? Uh. Yeah, it's just a bag with sunscreen. <laughs> All right, what's in here? A, chain. a metal dog chain. There is a NASCAR bag that's empty. More tote tops. Let's see what else is in here. Is that just the North 
face. No, it's not. Close. Is it all closed in the bottom? Yeah, it looks like there's a good amount of clothes at the bottom. Let's check the other side to be sure. Yep, all clothes. What's this American flag shirt say? I just like to see what they have. What does it say? Run the jewels. Run the jewels. No idea what that means, but mostly clothes. This box says fragile on it, which got me a little bit excited. You know, we're sitting there looking for the pocket knife I found. I couldn't find it, so we found this. I didn't even see it. This is a throwing knife. It was in one of those army bags. Look. <laughs> Oh, there's another strap. I just like opened it and I was like, we didn't even find this. We didn't, but that being said, you should go down to the description and subscribe to our second channel, The Jeebus Family, because we go into stuff in more detail. And as you can see, we miss stuff a lot because we go move a little fast on this channel. So let's see what's in the fragile box. What do you think? Is it is it heavy? It's like in the middle. It's not um, light. So it's probably not dishes. Hopefully it's like some kind of collector's thing. Well, more of a mystery. Well. <laughs> Let's see. Texas Bowl. Okay. All right. I feel like all the states. Well, there's not 50 in here, so. Ooh, this is heavier, whatever that is. This is a beer mug. Well, I'll open with one or two more and see if it's just all dishes. It looks like it's going to be that way. Texas. It's like a little Texas kit Texas. with some beer mug. The beer mugs probably came with it, right? Yeah, yeah, these probably. are beer mugs, these are beer mugs. It's They're all beer mugs except for these couple Texas bowls. So it's probably one big set. I just uncovered something super cool right there that we'll show you in just a second. But first, let's get these few things I grabbed out. By the way, if you notice those on the floor, it looks like an outdoor, like, you know, sit on cushion. They're literally just two huge cushions. So that's my only guess. Something to sit out in the, you probably know, for in the woods. Those? Oh, probably. <laughs> Good guess. <laughs> this main compartment's empty and we got electric tape okay. there's something else in here though look see that red is yeah. it just it's just string ah. strange no. all right what is this because this looks like something cool is this what i think it is don't tell me it's a ghillie suit oh. is it really oh my god i think no. it is i think it is too hold up i'm pretty sure is it how does it fit? I've never seen one in person. We'd have to like pull it apart just to get like the, you know, the top and the bottom. But that's what it looks like, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. I'm like pretty sure. Here's the rest of it. It's like a full ghillie suit. I don't know what I would ever need that for in a billion years, but it's just really cool, all right? All right, guys, look at this coolness. So nothing inconspicuous, right? We're just walking up to the house in the middle of the night. Nothing weird, except I don't think this bush ah! is a bush. <laughs> Not a bush. That is so legit. Like, crap's down next to that tree. Where? Right over here. Over here. That thing's amazing. Wow. Yeah, like, now you're looking for it. So you're going to be able to see. What? That's a bush. That's a bush. You would never think anything of this ghillie suit. That thing is amazing. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's in this big bag. It is a tote with, that is papers, some earbuds. I feel like they're in there actually. They're only seven bucks, but oh, and they've never been open, so yeah, they're in there. Uh, a will? Is that really what that is? Just somebody's will? No, it's just a marriage card, but it, you see that? It says will on it, so <laughs> made me think it was a will. What is it? Application? Oh, uh, whoa! Refund on. or lottery payment? Yeah, hold on. What did they? What did they win? The light just went off. That's all right. You can still see me, right? Yeah. Open, open. How much did you win on the lottery? $194. Why? I don't know. Why did you? Okay. $194. The rest of this is paperwork. Let's see if there's anything else in that bag. I thought it was going to be some cool big amount they had won. Yeah. Book, cookbook, and more clothes. Look what I just found. This is what I was talking about that I uncovered. A nice bow. It's even got some arrows on it, too. Ooh. It's got some wicked power to it. <laughs> I can feel it. It looks small though. You think this is a kids or just a small bow? Uh, I don't Hunters. know because I'm also comparing it to you. So Yeah, that's true too. Hunters <laughs> out there, let me know. Do they make just bows specific for kids or what? But that is pretty cool. And I saw something else super interesting. This bag. Look under it. You see what Ooh, I see? Ammo crate. Yeah, so let's see what's in this bag because I'm kind of impatient when it comes to guns and ammo. I need to know what's in there. Ooh, this might be my other love. Look what I see. Nice. Border, aw, oh, well, it's not in there. What about Kingdom Hearts? Also not in there. Well, there's a bunch of DVDs in here. Battlefield. 
Okay, where are the games at, buddy? Somewhere. All right, let's look for games. So we got DVDs galore, even a VHS, Netflix original series, Stranger Things too. Hey, I'm always told horror VHSs are where the money can be. So there's a Stranger Things VHS, I think. I don't know. What? There's a bunch of DVDs and pretty much all DVDs. Jurassic Park. The rest of it's all DVDs. Whoa, what's that? Ooh. Hey, <laughs> look what's under it all. Now that's nice. Look at the handle. Nice. That's pretty cool. Now I gotta make sure there's no other knives hidden down here. Any other weapons? No, the rest of it's just DVDs. So it looks like we got a little toad and some type of aquarium type thing. I don't know if it's for. Yeah, it looks like it's for fish. I see pumps and I think that's fish food right there. So, a nice fish aquarium. Maybe Brandon can replace his little one. Maybe. They can have a full house now. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. Dog. Stuffed animals. Some big dogs there. Uh, more Legos. That's not a dog. Is it not? What is that? <laughs> it's like it's got a horn. I don't know what it is. So this all toys. A couple beanie babies. A squirrel and a blue jay and like little chipmunks. That's what they practice when with the arrow. <laughs> hey, look what I got. Yeah. An air fryer. Catch it. No! No. It's empty. <laughs> it's an empty I air fryer box. I was about to break it. I was like, okay, well, he doesn't care about this. <laughs> let's get, um, well, let's see what this is first, I guess. Oh! Whoa. Whoa! I removed the first thing. Hold on now. That. What is this? Just a jacket? Yeah. All right, hold on, forget all that. Now. Got a little bit of weight to it. Let's see what's in there. Whoa. Another airsoft, but is it actually take it the right way, I wonder? Yeah, look. Maybe fill these. Oh, really? Maybe, I don't know. Let's fire. Yeah, like it's actually, look, it's rotating actually when I pull the trigger, like an actual revolver would be. So check that out. That is beautiful. I did not even expect that. So I think you're right. I don't know how to remove this on this kind of revolver versus a real one. It's a lot easier, but I guess we'll figure it out eventually because that's cool. I got some more stuff, a tote and a box that's heavy. I feel like it's books. Oh, look at that. That pub from 1947. Published 1947? Maybe that's what that means. I don't want to take it out of the bag and touch it with my hands, to be honest with you. Um, let's see, second and Charles. So this is all books other than that. Let's see if this has anything interesting. Oh, well, it looks like it's actually used for its purpose. It doesn't happen very often. What are these papers here? Have a safe trip? For what? I don't know what they are. But yeah, it looks like it's just paperwork. Now let's pull out this big ammo crate. Ah, it's not as heavy as I was hoping it would be. It sounds like rattling though. So it's not empty. Let's see what's in here. Whoa. What is this? Oh, that's not in there, whatever it is. This is a travel hammock. This is something. Right here, look at that. Whatever it is, it's old, isn't it? Looks like it. A shaving kit? A straight canteen? Yeah, some people like this air. Whoa, I didn't even notice this sitting here. <laughs> some people, this airsoft stuff is like warfare, isn't it? Like this is legit. Right. So these must probably just be safety goggles. So they don't get shot in the eye. Is this like a trail cam thing or outdoor yeah, that's cam? That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like to me too. A whole other thing of BBs. No, oh, I don't think that's. Oh yeah, it is. I was about to say I don't think that's for airsoft, but these are actual metal casings and everything. But they're like made into airsoft like that looks like a real and it's metal and we have these giant batteries here which probably go to some type of airsoft rifle so check out this little box it made me laugh look you see this going outside right all right let's open it up random you know explosive maybe now what does it say over here stuff off desk oh i thought it was gonna be explosives like what if there's just a c4 in here or just a claymore uh water in a can okay Ooh, look at this knife here. I'll get to it in a second. What's that? What is this thingy? I don't want to pull it out. That is what? All transistor? General Electric transistor? Alright. 
This is a little Lego guy. Here's a couple old pennies, like three Wheatback pennies. Let's make sure we don't have no, what is it, 1943 is the year we're looking for? Mm -hmm. No. Would have been nice though. A patch. Okay, let's see this. Ooh. <laughs> Smith & Wesson too. That's a good gun brand. There's a sharpener in here, just another miniature knife. Uh, let's see if it'll unvelcro. I can't tell what that is. Looks like a sharpening block maybe. But that is super nice. I bet you it has matches and stuff on the inside too. That's straight combat. Just think it'll go right through here. Sure. Yeah, it'll go right through there. You gotta choose tote or box with bag. Box. This. All right. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, it's heavy. Thought it was. Ooh, it's ripping. Yeah. I didn't think it was gonna be this heavy. Let's look in the bag first. Is there anything in here? Open up you. Men's thermal bottoms. This is like a little lunch box, but it feels heavy. It might be one of those ice packs if I had to guess. Let's see. Oh no. It's their whole lunch. Got some Pop Tarts, some Oreos. I love you, handsome in there. And <laughs> no. And yeah, this is hey. hey. And a nice knife in there. Nice. I guess this is needed to eat Oreos and stuff. Yeah, you never know. Never know, I guess. Hey, you never know. Alright. Let me close that up before we go into the box. There's I'll a use, knife though. Yeah, I'll use it. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. I see some clothes on the top, but I also see some non-clothes. Like this guy. I don't know, what looks like a, almost a torch maybe? If I had to guess. That's clothes. Ooh, what's this shoe box? That's where the weight's coming from. Oh no, there's all kinds of random stuff down here. All right, let's see what we see in here. I'll show the pictures, clothes, pictures. We'll definitely have to unwrap that. Ooh, what's that? Ooh. Uh, well, that's a troll. Some bolts. And these old bottles, we'll have to unwrap and see what they are too. Cause they're wrapped tight. They're wrapped in paper, then they're wrapped again in like ceram wrap. So no telling what those are. A really old bottle cap and a dime. Is it a silver dime? 1960. So yeah, it's a silver dime. Uh, this. All this random Play-Doh. Is this Play-Doh in here for real? Let's see. Open up. This is random to keep that. It's never even played with. Oh, so sad. Yes, <laughs> I'm keeping that. I don't care how old I get, play those still fun. We got some phone cases. Ooh, watch this. Look at that bag. That looks nice. What's in here? Nothing. All right. Then. Oh, there goes our light again. Whoa! What is that? Is this a... Do I pull the trigger? Is it a lighter? No, it doesn't like cocker now, I think. So it's... This comes back, but... That is cool, right there. All right, got my attention. What else is in here? Um, this guy right here. That's one of those like coins you get made on the way out of somewhere. Except they put it in a nice little display so they could charge you more for it. Um, these used photo albums. Yeah, they are. So we'll make sure they get all those back. And I think that's. Hey, is that a DS? Yep. With an Apple sticker on it. Yeah, so now it just went from $100 to 350 because of the Apple sticker. Even though it does nothing better, but we can now charge three times as much. Just kidding. But Apple sucks. This is off the Shark Tank. And I think that's just about all that's in here besides these boxes over here, which we can now get into. I'm going to put these right here. Let's just shoot it open. Yeah. We'll open this stuff last. I feel like that could be personal pictures. But the shoe box now, the shoe box has got my attention. What do you think it is? Well, what? hopefully it's not shoes. No, I could tell you by the way. What do you think it is? Oh, you flip Mister, it on you, me, huh? you like to ask everybody else. Because you don't want to guess. Yeah. Um, knives? No, jewelry. Okay. Oh, man. Hey, oh, it's gone. Ew. Is that old applesauce? Yeah. Ew, what is this? A ring? Ring sizer mm -hmm. maybe? I don't, is that uh, one of those like elastic ones? I think I know what this is and I'm just gonna start, we're gonna stop here. Okay. I think that goes on a, not a finger. Right. <laughs> you catch my drift. Glasses. This looks like all 
like personal stuff that will again yeah this, we'll get this back yeah, to them this is like their love box yeah this is basically their love box they'll we'll make sure they get all this stuff back so both of those frames were personal pictures and both the bottles were just literal bottles like beer bottles i have no idea what the significance of them is that whole box is probably just stuff that's significant to them bush gardens bush gardens let's see what's in there yeah it looks like it's clothes well you know, or do some clothes because the last unit, 10 by 25, had very little clothes for the size it was. So you know what? I can't be mad at that. Now let's get the tote you didn't choose. So if there's something cool in this one, it's your fault for not well, seeing it sooner. I didn't choose it because... Well, it looks like Christmas, doesn't it? Yeah. Same Nick. Christmas knife. <laughs> nice and everything. I know, there really is. Yeah, these are all Christmas ornaments. Okay, maybe you made the right choice stockings and a christmas tree i've seen enough let's put it away let's get these gray totes now this one's got a bonus on it Ooh. it's got this Ooh. joy and all right <laughs> thirst aid what what reference that we know of was that you then i have no idea please tell he me he was the number one. Oh, spongebob yeah it didn't say thirst aid on it. I know it didn't say thirst aid. What does that say? Thing. Going to apartment. Alright. Ooh, an iPhone? Yeah, let's take that to the apartment. An iPhone 6S Plus that's got a good amount of weight, like usual, but has no phone in it, like usual. I'm going to write Apple and then ask them to stop making their boxes so big, like for personal. Um, here's a card. Let's check that one. That'll tell the story usually. No. This personal cards, look at back. Juicy fruit. You think it's in there? Yeah. Uh, yeah. A lot of juicy fruit gum. Alright. Look at all these camo hats. They're country people. I don't know what to call them. These are just these are hats. country hats, yeah. <laughs> um this right here. Is this a camera? No, I don't think so. What do you think it is? Binoculars? Could be a camera. Oh, it is a camera. A cannon. Let's see if I can get it out of here. It feels kind of plasticky, so I'm gonna guess it's not nothing too new, but it's a Canon, it looks like a PowerShot, yeah. PowerShot S5IS, so that's cool. Let's see, there's something in the front bag too. Maybe it's another piece to it, battery or something like that, but gotta check it out. Battery charger, it looks like, or battery holder. I'm not sure, there's that. There's this, looks like what goes in your car, doesn't it? Ooh. Whoa, let's see what's in here. That's a nice knife right there. This thing looks like it might be literally just a bunch of knives. But we're gonna see, look at that. That's a big pocket knife right there, look. Ooh. It's a Marines, look. That's cool. Then it's got a couple, a wrench and a few tools in it. So the stuff you'd expect somebody to keep in their car. Just like a pigeon decoy, I guess maybe, mm -hmm. to get the pigeons in and then blast them. Chinese checkers, if that's what's in there. Yes. The Chinese checkers. Ooh, look at that old Monopoly. Whoa. Is that what it is, actually? Millennium edition. Oh, maybe it came out in the year 2000. I would guess based on the title. So, board games, collectible ones, could definitely hold some value. Not sure what that's worth, but that's all that's in here. Hey, you think we can use this for our yard sale? We might. Just do the world a favor. And go ahead and put it up. <laughs> just let everybody know. Real that close. You're not getting through it here. <laughs> I'm about to just set it up and see how long it takes for somebody to get mad again, like one of our neighbors. There's, there's two of them? Yeah, there's two of the exact same signs that just say road closed on them. Let's get this box now, then see what's in there, because I don't think it's shoes. This one is. Ooh! You see what I see? Look what I see right there. Another one. Look at that. A zombie. Exterminator. <laughs> Think it's loaded? Maybe. Let's see. No. Nope. But it's got a nice mag in it and everything. That's cool, a little cool. zombie gun. This is close. A hamster ball? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what that tank was for. It looked like a fishbowl to me, but I don't know. Uh, some shoes and some safety regulations. We don't care about safety regulations here. Let's get this open box here. It looks like it might be Christmassy, but we'll see. First off, this guy is a little 
Jeep DX Express or DJ Express from Hot Wheels uniquely identifiable vehicles that mean it's like only one of them not sure what's in here anything it's probably actual <laughs> popcorn isn't popcorn. it but it's really light oh just the caramel <laughs> nobody likes the caramel popcorn or for caramel the cheddar's the best yeah um our first christmas married we'll give that back look at this these are the stuff you get all those family members, you know, like your cousin Joe that you see twice a year and you're like, you don't want to give them nothing. So you get them stuff like this. Everyone does it. The deodorant kit, <laughs> little NASCAR. The stuff that they have the front at Walmart with yeah. all the deodorant kits. <laughs> exactly. <bodies. laughs> oh, what's in the stocking? I feel like it's actually candy. That's what it feels like. Oh, mint Kit Kats. Mm. Bunch of candy and notebooks, anything written in them. No handy dandy notebook clues. No, look who, why do you put a notebook in a stocking? Oh. I guess, all right. Hotel soap, and this is like a gift box. But look at this. No, it's just chapstick, I'm lying. I just wanted to make it sound dramatic. Let's just reach over and grab one of these top boxes and see how they, this one looks. It's, it feels like it's like this full. But they have a lot of boxes. I don't know why they would fill it like that. Anything written on it? No, I didn't. Nope, complete mystery. No. An empty Build-A-Bear thing, because why not? This is an empty phone case. What is that? Brake pads? Brake pads, yeah, some brake pads. There, Those are in there. What is this? Calamine lotion and poison ivy stuff. Why would you even pack this box, really? Why? Who's up for a game of tennis? You're gonna I got, have an advantage. I have five rackets, which is weird to me. This is just my, I guess, mental stereotyping to me. The people that play tennis and the people that hunt are like the two opposite ends of the spectrum that yeah. I wouldn't expect to find in the same unit. And then we have a bunch of cones here. What is this guy? Just the stand. This is Confederate flag. Uh, that guy. This is how I feel when I'm watching TV. This is what I look like. <laughs> <laughs> like that. And, ew, I thought that was a stain, but it's just that. Some more clothes. Look how many boxes we still have in here. I feel like this is our second full time in this unit and we haven't even touched like the main part of the unit, all the boxes. So make sure you subscribe and make sure you come back to see what's in those. If you didn't see the first part of this storage unit, go to the link down in the description, click it and go check it out. Here's the thumbnail. There's a lot more weapons than there were in this part. Peace out and don't miss the next one.